Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Divit and in today's video, I'll be giving you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how you can create any multi-page website that looks like this using Canva for free. I'll talk about how we can link all of the different pages. Like for example, over here, if we want to go to our about page, we can just simply click that button and go to it. And if we want to go back to our homepage, we can do that right here. I'll cover things like how we can make the website responsive, how we can use Canva templates so that no coding is required making this a completely beginner friendly tutorial. So with that said, let's get right into it. Now, the very first thing we need to do to create our website is go on to Canva's dashboard. And once you're on Canva's dashboard, go ahead and press the create a design option. So once you do that, you'll be directed to this page over here where you can go ahead and select their website option. If you don't see that, just go ahead and type it in. Once you do that, you'll be directed to Canva's main builder. So this is where we're gonna go ahead and actually create our website. Now, if this is your first time trying to create a website with Canva, you can do this in one of two ways. You can use Canva's templates. So these are basically pre-designed templates that Canva has, which you can just go ahead and drag and drop and then make changes to. Or you can go ahead and create your own particular multi-page website using their layouts option. So you can go ahead and customize it based on all of these different blocks that they have over here and then build your website however you want. Now, in my opinion, the easiest and most efficient way to doing this is using the templates option simply because you can leverage a lot of the work that's already been done by Canva when it comes to design and responsiveness. Okay, so that's what I recommend and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So let's say, for example, if you're interested in a particular website that's a marketing-based agency, you can just go ahead and type that over here and then it'll basically show you all of the different themes and templates that are available for this particular uh, website type. Now, something that we do need to keep in mind is that some of these templates or themes are paid themes. So for example, if we take a look at this one right here, it has this crown icon, which says pro. And over here, you can only use this particular theme if you have the Canva pro plan. However, you can even go ahead and use free themes for no problem. For example, these are some free themes right here that you can go ahead and use for your particular website and then customize it accordingly. So you can go ahead and select whatever theme you want. For this particular example, I'll just go ahead and select this one right here. Once you have a theme in mind, you can go ahead and press the apply all 14 pages. And this basically means that Canva will go ahead and take all of these different sections and put them onto your website. If you don't want all of these different sections, you can just go ahead and choose exactly which ones you want. So you can just go ahead and drag and drop them and then go ahead and customize it according to your needs. For the sake of simplicity right now, I'm just going to go ahead and apply all 14 of the pages. When we do that right here, we can see that right here, we have our home page now created for our website. Okay, so we can see it was very, very straightforward. If you want a bird's eye view of the entire page, you can just go ahead and scroll down over here. So zoom out. And these are all of the different sections that we just went ahead and put into our website. Now you can go ahead and delete a particular section. So let's say, for example, I want to delete this. You can press the trash can icon. If you want to remove this or rather change where this is, you can go ahead and press up here or down and it will basically move the sections around. And you can go ahead and further add new sections by going to the bottom over here, adding a page and then repeating the exact same process we just talked about. Okay. So that's how you can go ahead and play around with your design for your uh, particular home page. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the delete option over here. Now, when it comes to actually, you know, making changes to Canva's uh, website or the design features over here, it's a very straightforward process. You can just drag and drop different things. I can go ahead and, you know, change the text very easily. I can change the picture by just going over here to this tab right here. And then I can just, you know, go ahead and put in a different image. Very straightforward stuff. If I want to go ahead and change the background color, I can do that by pressing this background color option putting it to yellow. And then over here, there's this option which says change all. If you go ahead and select it, it will basically change all of the different sections on your page to meet that particular requirement. Okay. So it's a very cool and efficient way to actually go ahead and further customize the entire look and feel of your website. So I'm just going to go back to what it was. Okay. So this is basically what it was now. And this is what I want my website to look like. Now, the next thing I want to talk about over here is, let's say, for example, after you're happy with your home page and you want to create other pages like about pages, contact pages, blog pages, you can do that very easily. What we're going to do is we're basically going to create a menu option where we can go ahead and click between different pages. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this piece of text, paste it. And then over here, I'm just going to go ahead and call this about us. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and reposition this. Basically, I'm just making a menu manually. OK, and then I'll go ahead and paste this again. So let me just copy, paste, and here now we're going to go ahead and say contact us. Okay, so now we're basically saying that, okay, this is our home page. We're going to, we're going to have an about us page and we're going to have a contact page. All right, so uh, once you create this piece of text over here, you can even go ahead and actually add the text directly from here using this text feature. But I just copy pasted the existing text that was here to just keep the font the same. 
So now I've basically just created my homepage with a, a navigation menu for about us and contact us. Now, the next thing I want to talk about before we go ahead and create these pages is you can go ahead and preview your homepage by pressing this preview option and seeing what it looks like on the desktop. So you can go ahead and actually go full screen, see what it looks like if you're happy with it. If you're happy with it, then you can go ahead and actually look at it on the mobile devices by pressing this mobile option and going through the same process here. Now we can see this is where the strength of Canva templates lies. We can see that this is already a completely responsive website that they've created for us. So we don't really have to worry about making our website responsive. And that's why themes are so much more efficient than, you know, doing it by yourself. And that's why I always recommend using themes to build your website. Okay, so uh, once we are happy with everything, once we think it's responsive, we can now go back to our desktop version and just press the close option. Now, the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do over here is actually publish this homepage. So first, we're going to go ahead and publish this homepage and then we'll create our about and contact pages and then link them all together. Okay, so let's go ahead and press this publish website button on the top right. And now we have a couple different settings over here that we just need to go ahead and play around with. The first one is this website URL setting. So right here, you're basically telling Canva what is the URL for your particular website. Now we can see over here that currently my URL is Divit Meta, which is my name. And then there's this Canva branding, right? There's my.canva.site. Now this Canva branding is available to you if you want to go ahead and create free websites using Canva. All right. If you want custom domains and domains that are specific to your particular company or website like facebook.com, youtube.com, google.com, then you have to go ahead and connect your custom domain. So if you want to go ahead and connect a custom domain, you can just go ahead and press this pencil icon over here and then go to get a new domain and then choose to bring your own existing domain that you already have. Or you can just go ahead and buy a new domain directly on Canva for $25. But again, for this video, because I want to go ahead and show you how to do everything for free, we're going to go ahead and press the X button and we're going to go ahead and just use Canva's branding for our URL. So I'm going to go ahead and change this URL to, for example, home page. OK, so that's what my home page is going to be called. And then before I go ahead and actually publish it, there's this publish settings option over here. If you go ahead and click it, you can give your website a description. So this is basically you can go ahead and tell Google exactly what your website's about. If you have any particular keywords, then you should go ahead and add them over here. So I can just, for example, say this is my marketing agency for SEO and copywriting. This is a very bad description, but you get the idea. You know, I'm trying to put in keywords like copywriting, marketing agency, SEO. You can put whatever you want for your description. And then if you press this pencil icon over here, you can go ahead and change what the name will be on tabs uh, for your particular page. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and call this marketing agency homepage. All right, so once you have your different uh, settings in place, you can go ahead and press the preview option. We can see that Canva is telling us this is what it's going to look like on tabs. And this is what the description is. If you go ahead and press this advanced settings option over here, you can go ahead and password protect your website if you want to by pressing this option over here. And basically what this means is that people can only access your website if they have this particular password available to them. Now, I highly recommend that you don't have password protection, especially if you're you know, trying to market your website to a bunch of different people. So just have it disabled right here so that it's available to everybody. Now, you want to go ahead and make sure this option is selected because this is basically how Google can actually crawl your website and show people exactly what this is about. And then link preview, you want to go ahead and enable this also. And basically what this tells you is that if you go ahead and share this particular website on different social platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, you know, this is what the preview will look like. All right. So just go ahead and enable this stuff. Make sure your website description's in place. Browser tab's good to go and publish your website. So once you've created the homepage, we can see right here that Canva is telling us that our website is now live. It's giving me the homepage URL and I can go ahead and press this button to actually preview it. So right here, guys, this is what the web page looks like. Again, we know we have our about us contact. We have our different pages and different things that we went ahead and changed in Canva. And now this website is live and can be used by people. Now, if you want to go ahead and link it to another page like the about us page, we have to just repeat the exact same process by creating a new page for about us. So I'm going to go ahead and do this very quickly and show you how to do that. So if we go back to Canva right here, we can go ahead and press these open menu options so these three uh, lines right here. Go ahead and press create a design again. Repeat the exact same process, guys. Select website. Go ahead and choose your particular template. I'm going to choose the same template, but this time I'll tweak it a bit. So I'll just go ahead and say about. I'm going to start it like this and then add a different section. For example, let's just go ahead and put in something like this. Let's add another section. And uh, let's just go ahead and put in a final section, which is press release. Okay, so it's basically a three section about us page. Very straightforward stuff. Now, guys, recall, like I said earlier, you need to have buttons available so that you can link two pages together and go through them back and forth. So I'm just going to go ahead and create the buttons once again. Again, I'll just call this home page or actually home, sorry. And I'll do the exact same thing for our about us page. 
Let me just go ahead and put this in here. Copy, paste, about us. And then if you want to add a third page, exact same process, just put contact. Okay, so let me just go ahead and clean this up. Let's put this in the side here, about us and homepage. Okay, so we've basically now created a homepage. We've created an about us page and we're going to link these two pages together. And we're going to do that again for by first publishing the about us page. So let me just go ahead and publish it. And let me just change the URL over here and call it about us and press publish. So now basically we've created our two pages. Once this design is uh, live, we can then go ahead and link them. So I'm going to go ahead and take this URL right here, copy it. First, I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like. So this is our about us page and this is our homepage. But right now we cannot link these two pages together. If I click about us, nothing happens. If I click home over here, I don't go back to my homepage. And that's because these two pages are not linked. So to link these pages, we just have to go back to Canva over here. And I'm going to go ahead and actually first change it on the about us page. I'm just going to go ahead and click it, double tap it, press this link icon over here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put in my homepage URL. Okay, so my homepage URL right here. So now I've linked the about us page to the homepage. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and publish the website. Press republish again. And once I do that, now basically from our about page, we'll be able to go to our homepage. So if I go to the view website option, now we can see I can go to my homepage very easily and it works just like any other website. Now we can see from the home page, I cannot go to the about page because we did not add the link to our home page. So let's go back to Canva over here, press the X option. Let's just go back here to uh, our home page, which I created, which is this page here. Again, just make changes to it. Very straightforward process. Go to the about us button uh, or text rather we created, press the link option and then just link it to the about us page. So if I press the done option over here, republish the page. Now we'll see that once this page is live, our website can basically go between our about page and our home page, and we can repeat the exact same process for contact, blog, pricing, anything you want. You just have to repeat the exact same steps I just did. So if I go back over here, now we can see on my home page, I have this about us link. I click it, I go to my about page. If I'm happy with my about page, I can click it, go back to my home page. Very straightforward stuff. You can repeat the exact same process for your contact page. Just create a new page, link it to your home page and your about page, and now you can navigate through three different pages. So on that note, everybody, that's pretty much it. That's how you can go ahead and take everything I taught you in this tutorial and create as many pages as you want on your website on Canva for free and link them all together. That being said, if you found this video educational, then go ahead and press the like button and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in more content like this, then check out my channel, subscribe to it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now, everyone.